Hey guys, you ever been working inside PDM on like an engineering work request that's an XML document and you need to attach related documents to it? This Q-tip is for you. So if you're working inside your PDM vault and you have like an XML document that might have all of the data about any of the changes that need to be made, but you want to attach documents to it like service manuals, you know, maybe a marked up PDF drawing, something like that, then you can do that right out of the box and build out that tree the, just the way you need to see it. So if you go to the Contains tab of whatever file that you're going to be working on, then you can actually create attachments right here in this window. Check the file out. We already have a couple of documents that are attached to this one. Then you go right over to this icon right here that says Custom References. It looks like a pencil with a tree built into it. You want to view or edit user-defined references. Right now, there are a couple of different documents that are in here. We're going to expand these columns out just to show you what's in there. And this is where you can build out that tree and a custom bill of materials. There's a little bit of an Easter egg hidden in there for you. We want to, we want to reference it. That means that's the hard attachment to the, the top-level parent, the EWR document. Show in the bill of materials. This means that you can build out a custom bill of materials. Let's go ahead and add a different reference to this file and uh, show you how that's done. You don't do it from this window. You might have them on your desktop. Let's go to our desktop. And we've got a couple of files out here, some PDF files. We have a, uh, a you know, user manual, an engine specifications, and then a rear wheel support bracket. So we're going to right-click, copy those, and then inside the vault. But then we just right-click and paste. The documents are now inside PDM. They're checked in. They're in a workflow. Let's go ahead and grab them. Right click and copy. This is the part where you're actually making the attachment. And then on the XML file, while it's checked out, right click. And we want to use this magical thing called paste as reference. That is what will add the files as a reference. It'll add a link. It will then show in the bill of materials if we choose. And we can also set the quantities there if we want to. Again, there's a little bit of a hidden gem in that one. Click OK. Once those have been pasted, it's done. It doesn't actually tell you that it's doing anything. It doesn't prompt you with a message box. But whenever we go to check this file in, we will now see that those files are part of this tree. OK, we checked these in. Now the PDM database is aware that those files are here. And then we have them in our tree. Coolest thing about this is, is that we now have the ability to create a bill of materials. We can see the status of each of these as they move through any workflows that are there. We can even right click and change state directly on those files in the contains tree. Great feature that PDM added in about 20, I think it was 2018. Now your contains tab is an assembly console. Let's take a look at one of these files that we have in here. We just double click it right from the contains tree. It should bring up a window with it in there for us. So here's its, it's an owner manual from a lawnmower. This one is a, uh, a document that shows how the assembly goes together. And then this one is going to be engine specifications. So it's going to provide you with additional information. But all of this is now attached to the work request so that anyone who sees this document throughout its life cycle will be able to see the, the trail of uh, documentation for traceability purposes so your document control uh, procedures are intact. Hopefully this Q-tip has been helpful to you. Believe in the Q.